the most emotional reveals on first dates. Many people are going through hard times, and when they look for a life partner, they're seeking to find someone serious. In this video, we have compiled a list of some of the most emotional reveals on first dates. Remember to tell us what you think after watching the video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. 10. Jordan Jordan would have probably never revealed his past on the first day, but his date asked him about his siblings and what his parents did. So sisters, or? I've got two sisters. That's when he told her his emotional childhood. Jordan was put into foster care when he was five years old, and he got separated from his two sisters. Their mom used drugs, the police were tipped off, and they removed them from her care. He went to nine different homes in five years, and Jordan's dream was to find a forever family. Nine different fossil light homes in five years. As a child, it was difficult to understand why he went through the ordeal. When he thought he'd finally settled into a home, he was moved to another one. Finally, he was lucky enough to find his forever family. Not many kids in foster care get the chance to get a permanent placement. He seemed very ready to build a home and create his forever family with someone he loved and his children. Nobody gets over the death of a loved one. People learn to live with the loss. Watch how the next woman reveals a heartbreaking loss to her next date. 9. Les Les introduced himself to the date and asked if he had any children. He didn't have any, but the brother had seven grandchildren, and he loved them like they were his own. Children whatsoever. My brother has got seven grandchildren. I love them. Les then told him that her grandson lived with her because his mother died when she was giving birth to him who lives with me. You say grandson? Uh, yeah. My, my daughter um, died. She oh. was 28 weeks pregnant. It was so heartbreaking for the day to watch as Les expressed the pain of losing a child. Her 28-year-old daughter had a difficult pregnancy and she always got sick. When she passed on after the delivery, the doctors placed her son on her chest and all Les had were pictures of that moment. Her date was understanding and asked her what she did with her grandson to try and lighten the moment. Les had taken the role of a mother but couldn't adopt him because the dad was still around. The grandson reminded Les of her daughter and helped ease the pain of the loss. Living in the limelight can sometimes be very draining and some famous people desire a fresh start once in a while. 8. Eileen after Eileen left the big brother, she went back to normal life to put all her money in property. She was ready to meet a good man and probably take things to the next level. Her date walked in and Fred described him as a Jason Statham lookalike. He was hoping to meet a nice normal person on the first date. He was a security manager and Eileen was a property manager, so that was a good start. The waiter recognized her and asked her date if he knew who she was and the date knew her from Big Brother. He asked Eileen if she wanted kids and that's when he ripped open her scars. She wanted to have a child while in a meaningful relationship because that's what kids deserve. Eileen was in a 10-year relationship, and she had a lot of pain during that time. She lost four babies due to her negative Reese's blood. I lost uh, some babies. Fuck. <laughs> I lost four babies. And one of them died after seven months. Eileen later knew that she could give birth after an anti-D injection, but I guess she wasn't ready yet. Traumatic events may leave a person too broken to find love again. A woman on first dates decided it wasn't time to give up yet. 7. Julie Julie had already gone through three marriages and she was hoping to catch a break. She missed the intimacy and the laughter and she was looking for someone to do things with for the rest of her life. Dave, who was also a divorcee, was looking for a woman to share his world and go on adventures with him. I'm looking for a woman who would share the travel dream with me. Someone who would like to go on a bit of an adventure. Julie loved diving and she found it romantic, so that was a fantastic start for both of them. She told Dave that she'd been married three times and her first marriage lasted about three years. Julie and her first husband were accosted and held at gunpoint. Unfortunately, she witnessed her husband getting shot and the events of that day never left her mind. She pushed herself to be happy and find love again, but it was challenging for her to move on. Julie needed an understanding man who'd comprehend that she loved her first husband, but she was also willing to move on, and Dave gave her the most encouraging words. It's devastating for a lady who wants to have children, but be told that she can't bear any kids. But some women are strong enough to live past such sad revelations. 6. Lauren Lauren's date Pat had been single for a long time, but he had a couple of dalliances when he was single. He was 34 and finally ready to find love and settle down. Lauren had been in a relationship before, but her partner not only broke her heart, but smashed it to pieces. She later changed the subject and asked Pat if he wanted kids. He was from a family-oriented home and they were stable, so naturally he wanted a family of his own. 
Pat's family went through a hard time when her dad got cancer and passed on. Lauren also revealed that she had just finished battling cancer and they made a toast to celebrate the milestone. However, the treatment put her into early menopause. Sad. A few minutes after the chemo process, doctors asked her if she wanted kids, and deep within, she wanted to have kids, so the news of her infertility broke her to pieces. It was a weird thing to go through and even talk about, but she exhibited so much strength as she spoke to Pat. A 10-year relationship is challenging to get over, especially if the circumstances of the breakup were unavoidable. 5. Dale Dale was on the show hoping to find someone a bit playful and didn't take things too seriously. His ideal partner was a Mediterranean guy with dark hair, dark eyes, and facial hair. Also hoping to find love was a 39-year-old masseuse, Chris. Many people think massages are sexual, and guys ask Chris for a happy ending once in a while. Chris had been searching for the right guy for many years, and he wanted someone to spend the rest of his life with. There seemed to be an immediate spark between Dale and Chris, and they both liked what they saw. Chris asked Dale about his longest relationship, and the answer brought back painful memories. Dale dated a guy for 10 years before he died unexpectedly on Valentine's Day. Andrew was out with his friends, and Dale was at home when he received the phone call. It was harder because Dale wasn't there for him during his last moments, and the doctors made it worse when they couldn't talk to him because they weren't married yet. The next guy on first dates had the weirdest phobia, but he also had a very emotional reveal on his first date. 4. Billy Billy loved Olivia's beautiful eyes when he first met her. They sat down to have a meal, and the waiter brought bread and butter. Billy revealed that he had a phobia of butter. A little weird, right? I'm, I'm just got a bit of a phobia of butter. Both Olivia and the waiter were a bit shocked. He turned the butter to face away from him, but the dread isn't our focus for today. Let's fast forward to when they started talking about siblings. Billy had one brother and five sisters. He had a great relationship with his sisters, but his brother was Billy's inspiration. They used to do a lot of things together until he had a stroke one day and suddenly fell. The situation tore their family apart because doctors said that he had a 10% chance of survival. Billy tried to be strong for his mom and his sisters, but deep inside, he was also broken and suffering. However, the brother managed to live past the doctor's expectations and also found a great girlfriend. Someone could be living a very lavish lifestyle and next thing they know, they can't even afford a bag of chips. 3. Gail Gail was on her first date after 20 years. Her date's previous relationship went down the drain after he lost his job and all his money, and Gail had a similar experience. When she first met her second husband, he was dressed as a pilot. They had a great time, and he showered her with gifts and money. The two ended up having two lovely children together. Then things went wrong very fast. Gail found out that everything the husband told her wasn't true. He'd hired the pilot outfit, meaning he'd lied to Gail from the very first day that they met. It turned out that all the stories that he had been telling me were just not... Gail's husband left her and the children, and the events which followed were the lowest point in her life. Her house in London was repossessed, and Gail became homeless with the children. They lived in a hostel, and she could barely afford to feed her children. Gail had to clean the toilet and the bathroom every time her children needed to use them. She wiped her eyes dry when she finally landed a job, but she had to rebuild her life from scratch. Meet a girl who suffered from alopecia and never spent a night without her wig on until she went on a date from the show. 2. Eve Eve was a professional beauty therapist and she enjoyed her job because she made people feel good about themselves. She'd been single for three years before she went to the show and hopefully Eve would find a great match. She was paired with Jordan, a teaching assistant with tattoos just as Eve liked. He was also hoping to finally find love, and Jordan wanted a lady with a great personality. Eve had a rather shocking reveal for Jordan. She said that she had no hair and took off her wig for a few seconds before putting it back on. have any hair. I wear a wig. Okay. This is gonna freak you. You came over at the wrong time. She was bullied as a child because her hair kept falling off and her parents went through a lot to make sure she had hair. Jordan asked her to keep it off throughout the date, and that it was the most beautiful thing ever. Eve went to the bathroom and took her wig off, then continued the date. Jordan seemed love-struck by Eve's beauty without the wig on. It's hard to be confident in your skin when it's full of visible scars, but the next queen drew strength from her inner beauty. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. 1. Bianca 
Bianca's date was going well, and they had a pleasant conversation until they ordered dessert. She told her date that she didn't feel confident about herself, and he was genuinely shocked because Bianca was a beautiful, lovely woman. Then she asked him if he knew about keloid scars, and the guy wasn't familiar until she showed him the wounds. It got emotional when Bianca started explaining her journey. She began getting keloids when she was 13, and the scars made her childhood difficult. People would say that they looked disgusting, and some even told her to kill herself. She had scars on her jaws, on her ears, and on her chest, which always felt itchy. Bianca always thought that she had to reveal her scars every time she met someone for the first time so that they'd accept her. The guy was shocked, but he was also very supportive because he'd also suffered from weight when he was a kid. Thanks for watching, and have an excellent day.